Welcome back traders and the image that you're seeing here is what the elite TM for charge as well as the quick are going to be looking like and I must say they look quite epic. So we are not going to actually be able to obtain this until May 1st when season one does end. Now Niantic could throw us a secret surprise and give us a quick elite TM at the end of the preseason but who knows what's actually going to happen. We're going to be going into depth on the current legacy Pokemon that I do have and things that you may want to possibly wait for or use your Elite TM on immediately. But I'm going to honestly urge you to possibly hold off on using this, although there are a few solid picks that you can go with right away when you do receive it on May 1st. But that's still a little ways out. Nonetheless, we've been waiting on something like this for quite some time, so it's never going to be too soon to kind of start planning now on what you possibly want to use it on. But also remember, we're only going to be getting one of these per month, unless Niantic does decide to give us both the quick and the charge move at the end of the season. So taking a look at some more data mined information here, we have Pikachu costume, Dragonite costume, and Onyx costume. So this is very interesting and these can be quite amazing, but let's just speculate here for a moment so i did make this image with dragonite with his kind of delivery bag which would be absolutely amazing for us to receive this is expectations reality is probably going to look like this folks unfortunately the dunce hat party hat for everything right <laughs> all right and also crystal onyx i've been talking about this for a while now and hopefully one day we will be getting it in Pokemon Go. Crystal Steelix would look amazing if they do allow us to evolve it because sometimes they do that for special variants of Pokemon. But this is expectations. Reality, folks, is probably going to look like this. Now, I'm just being a little bit silly here, but in all jokes aside, I suppose this is kind of really our reality with Niantic. All right, now also taking a look at some of the raids that you're going to be seeing from the 10th until the 12th starting at 10 a.m. on the 10th and lasting till 10 p.m. on the 12th. So you're going to have Pokemon that are going to supposedly good, be good for PvP. I see a Whiskash, a Haunter, a Cloyster, Skarmory. Yes, these things are good, as well as Swampert. Is Swampert going to have Hydro Cannon? Who knows? We're also going to be able to get Registeel and Cresselia through the raids, as well as possibly encountering them through PvP. So I personally was able to get myself a Shiny Darkrai, and some of you are asking how many did you encounter before that actually happened in the PvP Go Battle League. And I think there was about a total of three or four. So that might have been my fourth Dark Rye encounter when I did get it shiny. Now taking a look at some of the legacy Pokemon that I do have. A little bit of food for thought here. This Lapras with Dragon Pulse is quite old and I did get it through a trade. Uh, it actually has helped me out in a tournament against another mirror match going up against another Lapras. Uh, unfortunately, it does have water guns, so possibly I may want to use a Elite TM for the quick move on that one. And then my probably most prized possession here, I wouldn't say my favorite, but probably one of my most valuable Pokemon. And that is going to be my 100% IV Double Legacy Dugong with Ice Shards and Icy Wind. Icy Wind being extremely good with its newly added debuff onto the opponent. So it is pretty nice. As far as an open meta, it can perform good, but it's going to be even better for specific cups. But unfortunately, the Silt Arena did ban this in the prior tournament that we did have. But in the Go Battle League, there are no restrictions yet. So this may be a good addition to your team if you're looking to do that. 100% IV, not the best IVs for PvP, but hey, it is still quite amazing. And then I do have this Hypno here with Psyshock. Uh, so they did bring back the Shadow Ball as that legacy that it did have for everybody to actually TM into if you so choose to with your Hypnos. Uh, but currently it still does have a legacy and that is going to be Psyshock. Actually pretty decent. Uh, actually also considering powering this up for the Ultra League. And then I do have a Fury Cutter Nido King. Now you're going to be able to consider this folks. Uh, TMing your shiny Pokemon to have legacy moves because that's going to be a reality that we're going to be able to see. Not only that, but different combinations with your shadow Pokemon community days. This is going to get absolutely insane. I can't wait for it. I've discussed this a few times on my channel, uh, like the Zapdos with uh, a Thundershock and also a Shadow Form as well. So that's going to be quite amazing as the Thundershock was going to be an exclusive raid day move. Uh, and then taking a look at some of the Pokemon that are going to be solid. Uh, right away, I'm going to tell you Mewtwo uh, is going to be able to have Shadow Ball and Psy Strike. Uh, you're going to be able to TM your Shadow Ball 
uh, Mewtwo's if they have a secondary move like this one here and receive Psy Strike. And if you have a Psy Strike, you will be able to get Shadow Ball. So that is going to be absolutely amazing and definitely a solid one. Uh, a few other Pokemon that you probably already have powered up or considering powering up, but you haven't because you don't want to miss out on an exclusive move. Well, they have alleviated that problem. Uh, so the only downfall to powering up a bunch of these legendaries and then they get their exclusive move and you're going to have to use your elite TM is the fact that you're only getting one of these per month. So 12 a year, unless we have some sort of special event, don't know how they're going to implement the quick move. Maybe we'll get it alongside the charge one. We'll just see how that works out. But the Alga is also going to be a good Pokemon for you to power up if you are looking into uh, actually using it in the Go Battle League or for raids. Rayquaza is going to be another solid Pokemon for sure. As you can see, I basically have a full team here, including a shiny. And taking a look at Lugia, which is going to be getting Aeroblast. The numbers are not quite in yet as to how good it is going to be performing, uh, although it was found in the data as far as the name is concerned. So that is going to be another Pokemon you may want to use it on if you're considering you have a shiny Lucky maxed out or something like that, right? Uh, we also have the Mewtwo Armored Form that I did power up before it did receive its exclusive move, so I may want to do that. And then you also have Mew. Uh, this Pokemon has a vast move pool, so picking the specific move that you do want if you're deciding to use this in PvP is going to be something really nice. I did decide to just use two Charge TMs just for fun, and I landed on Rock Slide. I'm not concerned what it has. As you can see, plenty of Charge TMs. And then I also have this 100 Palkia that I was afraid to actually power up but i actually went ahead and powered it up a little bit i don't want to invest rare candies i'll wait for it to return uh, but that's another pokemon that can get an exclusive move that you can use this on and then i do have two dark rise powered up both of them are going to be a 15 15 and a 14 and then that shiny is a 15 15 and i do believe 11 or a 10 so quite nice uh, i could also use it on that and then I have my Great League Lugia here with Hydro Pump and Sky Attack. Uh, depending upon how good Aeroblast is, I probably might use it on this if Lugia does become viable. Uh, it already is pretty good, right, in the Master League and the Ultra League, every league. Uh, but, you know, there's things that can shut it down, just like anything else. Uh, so another Pokemon there I might consider using it on. There's my Zapdos, one of the Shinies, but it didn't have Thundershock. Uh, another Pokemon a lot of people did miss out on for that raid day in which you had to evolve it. Uh, within that time frame it was going to be Licky Licky with Body Slam. So you may want to consider that. And you also have Breloom with Grass Knot. Uh, that was actually going to be an event a while back in which you had to evolve its pre-evolution to receive the Grass Knot move. And you can actually TM into it. So it's kind of an exclusive thing. They may bring it back in the future, but I don't think you should waste an Elite TM on that. Just showing you some of the things I do have. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some other Pokemon here. I do have a few of these Pidgeots. Only one of them is going to be Legacy. I do believe it is going to be uh, not Air Slash. It's definitely Wing Attack. Okay. Uh, but unfortunately, it is going to be over the Great League. But I do have a Shiny that I could possibly use it on. Uh, I may consider using a quick Elite TM on this. But just running through ideas yet again. Uh, and then taking a look at the starters here. Of course, a lot of them are going to be fantastic, including... Venusaur with Frenzy Plan and Charizard with Blast Burn. Uh, Blastoise is amazing in the Ultra League if you do have one completely maxed out. Uh, but something I don't urge you to do is um, TMing an exclusive move with the Elite TM on starter Pokemon uh, that are not 100s. If you have a 100 that you already have all the way evolved up, then you may want to do that. Also, Muck with Lick. Uh, I don't personally have that myself, though. Ninetales with Flamethrower. There's quite a few... Uh, decent options out there but again uh, this is not something I would personally want to go for for the flamethrower on the nine tails but just throwing out ideas now I do have a 100% IV Venusaur uh, that I did get in a raid uh, which is quite amazing as well as a Charizard here so unfortunately they do not have the exclusive moves so one day once I'm stacked up on these perhaps I may consider doing this uh, and TMing them over to their exclusive moves uh, so another idea just throwing it out there uh, but anyways this is going to be quite exciting folks the elite tm is a big deal honestly because it is going to be able uh, to help us just tm away into our exclusive moves for the legendaries anyways if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and i'll be catching you all next time take care